Hey guys, so here's the rarest fan that I've ever seen in person. This is an Energy Reduction Systems, nicknamed ERS, ceiling fan. This is the American Art Series. An antique brass with amber glass trim. So the first thing I said when I saw this was, oh my god, this thing is massive. <laughs> this is bigger than I thought it would be when I saw it in real life. But it has these, uh... Poseidon's Trident style blade arms. And these are extremely rare, as I've said. So. And this fan, I also put a new flywheel on it. Um, and let me show the original one. This is actually the original one here, if you want to see it. Yeah, so even the ones that people did have for these, if the flywheel broke, then that's pretty much it, then they probably got thrown away after that. But the reason my collectors like this so much is because they're so unique, apart from the uplight. This is the control system. This rod that's just sticking out is a variable speed, so... If I turn it all the way to the right, it might stall out. It I have just the, barely did it earlier. I got the trim pot set a little too low. But yeah, it also has a squirrel cage blower inside the motor housing to, I guess it helps distribute the heat from the light bulbs and it helps cool the motor in there. So that's really neat. It doesn't matter too much nowadays with LED lights, but very innovative design back in the day. And all the mechanical parts, the cardboard box control reverse switch and everything else is in that lower canopy. This thing is just awesome. It's also not loud at all for having just a cardboard box control. The vibration noise is kind of bad. It used to be a lot worse because I was able to reduce vibration noise a little bit. It's not even so much vibration, but the 60 cycle hum. Well, it might get worse at medium speed, but for right now it's really quiet. Unfortunately, the rod is, is bent a little bit right there. Surprisingly, it looks a bit better when the light is off. <laughs> it's really cool, like, you know, this also got leather vent screens. Those are leather? Yeah, they're leather. Are they, oh, yeah, they are. I didn't even notice that. Alright, now it's making a little bit more noise. It also shakes a little bit. Yeah, it's on a J-hook, so... You know what year this is from, about? All I know is early 80s. I don't know the exact year. I didn't really date these. So the story that the seller told me that I got this from... Apparently there was a restaurant somewhere in the Jersey Shore area there were Would have six. Loved to see that restaurant, by the way. But yeah, I've so never seen it. there were six of these installed in that restaurant, and the seller's father was friends, I guess, with the restaurant owner, and took one home and installed it in his house. Um, unfortunately, that restaurant now they've all been replaced with these crappy hunters. What's the name of the restaurant? Do you know? I completely forget. But the seller like showed me pictures of the restaurant when I was there buying the fan. Yeah, really unfortunate. Did he send you pictures? They of were the all restaurant? replaced. What's that? Did he send you pictures of the restaurant when these were still installed or no? No, we couldn't find any. We looked on Yelp. If you remember the name, then Yeah, I'm gonna have to like send it to me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into that a bit. This is almost high speed air approaching. So this is really the only one that still lives on. Yeah. Alright, that's full power. The important part is that you save one. Yeah. A lot better than zero. Yeah, especially with how rare these things are.
and it's really quiet uh, when it's on high speed. That's usually how it goes when these fans are on uh, high and low speed, they're quiet. And there's that in. squirrel cage up there. Let me see if I can get it. I don't know how well I can see that. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, barely, I can barely even. I'm trying not to get my arm taken off. <laughs> spin down here. And this is reversible, right? Yeah, the reverse switch is actually right up there. I'm going to try and do a zero to high with a reverse. It's an arcless reverse switch. Stop it a bit prematurely. There you go. Okay. Just gotta be careful reversing because it's on a J hook. My new fell down. That would suck. It's not gonna go anywhere. Oh, there we go. Right, that's They're reverse. Fans too. If neither of us said that already. Yes, yeah, it's, it's got some power to it. It's certainly made well. It also uses a universal stack motor. moving a decent amount of air. Okay. I think that's gonna do it for this ERS ceiling fan from the early 80s.